Pick up that tempura. You don't want to be a litter bug. <gasps> tempura? <gasps> Yo, what up is your board bed? I'm review Pompoco. Oh, Scar, excuse me. The 94 film by Studio Ghibli. Um, if anything, this is a great environmental film, right? Depicting the struggles of one species of animal trying to survive in an area where humans are trying to expand. This only focuses on the raccoon problem, right? There's a lot of animals in those forests as well, such as, you know, bunnies and stuff like that. But similar to in the U.S., Japan, you know, during the 60s, had a big, uh, um, what do you call it, economic boom. And the animals thought them that we just thought humans were other animals, but apparently not. They're powerful as gods, able to change terrain and make buildings and stuff like that. So the animals were in awe of the humans. Of course, they're like anyone, you push them far enough, they're going to strike back. And that's what these raccoons end up doing. They study humans in order to understand them and find weaknesses in order to drive them back from Tama Hills, where, um, I mean, if you look at the map nowadays, uh, they, it's pretty much modernized. Maybe a couple of little parks here and there, but basically Tama is like legit a city now. Um, so what happened, and this is basically a biography, biography, my bad, not biography. Uh, what do you call that? A document, documentary basically on what happened to these, all these animals. Minus the transformation power. I mean, I believe that raccoons can transform, man, and scare people and stuff like that like they do in the movie hell hopefully they i wish they you know i believe in magic hopefully they do do that but um yeah i mean most of these raccoons can tr use transformation techniques uh similar to like how chameleons change their color but they could actually become either people objects whatever they want to be fair expand grow smaller it's really interesting stuff actually i, I was like whoa that's cool ass stuff right and they use that in order to surveillance and monitor humans and stuff like that there's actually a big cast here of uh, raccoons that go along with each other and it's a fun time watching all these raccoons do some wacky crazy adventures um people do die i mean they end up dying some of them you know, i mean it's bound to happen aggressive expansion by people literally killed a lot of species of animals so we get to see a lot of the uh, sadness uh, adaption adaption ad adaptation of the animals into this uh, kingdom which is great i mean i enjoy seeing the aftermath and this movie delivers all that right uh it's mostly narrative uh i guess there's some story driven here but like you have a, a narrator talking a lot of time and you find out who that is at the end of the film and it's just a great time and fun especially when they do the parade at the end of the film that was great i it's like i said it's a wacky little adventure great movie uh i think it was directed by isao takahata right yeah he did and I, this is weird because when i was watching this i'm like man miyazaki did a good job hell no it wasn't him it was isao takahata so he did a good job and i think this is one of the few films at the time you know that he made where i was like yeah, he has a playful side, even though he and most of his films are really dramatic and stuff like that. He has a playful side. We see that in this film. He wrote it and directed it. So it's a great film, a great watch. And uh, damn, man, next, I'm on a roll watching these Studio Ghibli films. They're just amazing one after another, right? Um, but the message is strong here. And, and it sucks. I mean, nowadays we're a little bit more... I mean, even today, standards, humans have fucking exploded in numbers, but I think we do a better job in the environment, doing those environmental factors and stuff like that. Overall, though, great film. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed watching it. Definitely fun time for kids and adults. Uh, great message here for you environmentalists. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.